It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a bottle of Swanee Brewery Orkney Porter, a modern classic porter coming in at 9% ABV. There's a look at the label. There's the bottle cap, gold bottle cap. This beer was kindly sent to us by imperialbeerclub.com. Imperial Beer Club, £42 a month. 10 beers. Don't know what you're getting each month. Bit of a surprise. Bit of a Father Christmas moment every month. Check the link in the description box for more. I'm going to get on with this beer. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass then. It's a lovely, very, very thin one finger, white-ish head, slightly off white head. I managed to throw beer all over my hand. Uh, it's nearly jet black, nearly jet black. Can you see that light bleeding into the bottom of the glass? That's probably quite a close look at the beer if it wasn't being filmed through a camera through my own eyes it looks like a very very dark mild let's get the aroma But it smells more than a dark mild. It does. It's got the aromas of, of, of a rich, delicate imperial porter. It smells great. Chocolate, coffee, caramel. A little bit of tobacco smoke. This beer's calmed me down. It's really calmed me down. It's the... It's the It's that classic style of beer that, that makes you want to just slump in the chair and hold this beer and put some crap on the television and, and just eat some Doritos and, 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 and enjoy, take your time and enjoy a 9% ABV beer of this quality. Should we dive in? Cheers. Wow. Wow, that is lovely. Really, really lovely beer. Initial burst of carbonation rolls onto sweet caramel. That then rolls onto a bitter plus sweet chocolate. And then to finish things off, you get a nice bitter coffee on the back end like an espresso coffee so it moves this way slowly through sweetness from the malt to bitterness from the hops and of course the malt roasted malt creates bitterness as well as sweetness wow Mouthfeel on the beer, it's quite dense. It's what you want. You don't want a thin porter or a thin stout at 9% because it would be, it would, it, it would be a little bit like being a criminal. You know, it would just, it just wouldn't be right. If you think of chocolate, that big, depthy, creamy feel in the mouth. If you think of caramel, same thing. And if you, if you think of a latte or an espresso coffee, yes, it's got that. This is not milky, but I'm going to say milky consistency from a coffee. So 
when you're thinking about a, an imperial pause, you want to be thinking about the mouthfeel. How 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 decent is that mouthfeel to back up that coffee, chocolate, and caramel flavour in your mind? Because it has to fit together. This does it in spades, by the way. Massive mouthfeel. And that little initial touch of carbonation that pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth is enough to lift that mouthfeel, to make it refreshing. Uh, it's, it's a very, very old art in brewing, I suppose. It's, I think it's what makes beer fantastic, is that, is that we can kind of manipulate these malts, manipulate the hops, manipulate the yeast to create this carbonation. It's fantastic what we can do with beer these days. Let me rock the beer back and forth and show you the quality. As I rock the beer back and forth, you can see the carbonation making its way to the, or chasing the head of the glass. And that then shows that it's a nice big bold stout because it's slow moving carbonation. It's not like, can you imagine rocking back and forth a carling? You just wouldn't have that same effect, would you? Very thin, very watery type beer. Or not just picking on lager, you, might, you imagine doing that to a man's brown ale. Again, you wouldn't have anything like that going on. Uh, okay, I'm going to rate this now. Uh, so Rob Hill's passion for brewing. Uh, Rob Hill must be the owner or the head brewer. Um, it's the version of, of a classic porter style. Uh, this beer is very dark yet deceivingly delicate on the palate with roasted grains, berry fruits, and a hint of smoke lending complexity. Orkney Porter. I really like that. And I, I, I really, honestly, I really, really like this porter. It's just taken me down a level. It's, what, eight o'clock in the evening here. Um, it's been a long day in work. Um, this has just helped me unwind massively. Let's rate it. I'm going to give this beer a massive 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Milo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.